This is the Doctor continuing the Duskers uh, series. In the last episode, I showed Case a bit of the game, and I died horribly on the second ship to uh, that buzzing enemy. It's called the Swarm. They're like tiny little robots or whatever they are. I think they're robots, um, so they're not organic enemies that it moves super quick, and if you're not prepared for them, which I clearly was not, you just die horribly. They can come out of vents. That's how they got me. All right, so I booted up a new run, got three new drones. We're good to start again, and this time, instead of motion sensor, I got a stealth uh, module to start with. I actually think this is the strongest, or maybe the second strongest way to explore the map. There is an even stronger way, like a way to do it in total safety, but uh, you need two modules, teleport and sensor. Uh, but for a single module, I think stealth is actually the strongest. I think it's significantly better than the motion sensor because motion sensors can be like inconclusive. Also, um, it is actually important to move quickly on a particular ship. So um, I will try to avoid talking. Like you may not see me talk as much when I'm within a particular mission, just because like you gotta move quick. You can't be like dilly dallying about. Uh, like the vents can spawn more of those robots, the swarms, and there's another enemy called the goo or slime that can spread uh, in the ship if you take too long. So why don't we go ahead and begin with three new drones and a new ship. This ship is stable and there's only one infestation type. Uh, so it should be pretty easy. It's a salvage A, so it's really, really big. There's a lot of good opportunity here. Uh, but let's see what we can do. Let's just get started right away, not mess around. Let's, uh, it's got a lure and a tow. I've never actually figured out how to use the lure appropriately. Ooh, this is good. Okay, there's a drone here. So I'm gonna start gathering, and then I'm gonna navigate drone three to R three, and then tow, so I can get that um, derelict drone. In fact, let's see what modules on this. There could be something good. Uh, swap. Wait, why can't I swap? It's weird. Okay, maybe I have to swap like this. Tow. Okay, that's useless. But a free drone is a free drone. Uh, all right, so. There's a lot more of this ship to scout. We should definitely scout it. Um, I don't hear the buzzing sound. So it would be a bit of a waste to use the stealth on a slime, but I can't risk it. Like, it's too early in the mission, to, uh, in the campaign, to take risk. So this room is free. So I'll turn off the stealth. Then we'll turn it back on. You don't have to wait for it to fully recharge. All right, there's another destroy drone here, some scrap, power source. Uh, stealth's at 69%, that's plenty. I don't see any enemy. Ooh, interface and a stun, very good. And so, a three, so stop towing. There's a second um, module I can swap out, so I'm moving, come on. Nav three, R5, oh, I gotta open the door. Now move him over to do that, uh, and then I'll keep exploring these rooms. We got plenty more rooms to go. In fact, I can even do this. I can move my ship to dock it at A2, close D17. Uh, we want to move quick, see what enemy is on this ship. Nothing. Okay. Could be that slime. Uh, I don't like drone 2. It's very hard to see with that. Okay, stealth, D18. In fact, I should close D20. Very surprising, I haven't run into any enemy yet. There's, um, this is a permanently installed um, module. They're like ship upgrades, but you can't, you can't uh, get the permanently installed stuff. All right. So now, three, we're gonna swap. Get the stun, A2, nav three, R1. One stealth, so you gotta move fast! Move, 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 move! Can't be wasting time. Very different than the way I play Battle Brothers where I take 20 minutes to kill a single brigand thug. 
All right. Uh, Doc A1. I'm very surprised. I know there's only one infestation type, but it's still kind of surprising to not find any enemy yet. Very strange. I'm very afraid it's the goo. Um, hmm. This is so strange. Um, I mean, this looks like most of the ship. So let's do D10, D20. And then we're gonna D12, close that. Nav 1, 2, R4. I'm gonna dock at A3. Three. Okay, I have the stun module. Uh, and then I'm gonna power this room. Just to see. We gotta be very careful here. Okay, there's one more room to explore. That's gotta be where the enemy is. Uh, let's do it very safe. Aha! Uh -huh, it's a robot! Now that is very interesting. Um, if you kill those, you can get um, extra resources out of it, but there's no way to kill it. So, can't be done. Alright, let's end get out of here I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything because it's the robot I know this is quite a safe um, safe um, ship there's no goo there's no swarms to worry about I don't see that we miss anything it's actually a very small ship for a type A those used to be they tend to be very very big I could if theoretically commandeer this ship but I don't see the need for that. I would get that collector permanent upgrade, but it's kind of bad. <laughs> I don't really want that. I think this is good. I think we're done. Um, wait, exit, that's what I want. All right, very successful first mission here. Got not a lot of scrap because I'm playing on hard mode, but getting the drone, that's how you get most of your uh, resources on hard mode. You have to uh, loot drones. Uh, like this one. So, okay, what do we got here? A stun? Um, I don't think that's that useful. Interface, on the other hand, could be extremely useful. Not keen on the lure, but you know what? I could also repair that drone just one to bring it with us, but I don't really see the point of that. Uh, generator... yep. Well, the lure could come in handy, you never know. It only works on biological enemies. Um, I, I think the slime is one, although I don't know how this interacts with that. There's a lot of things that I'm not an expert at this game, so there's a lot I could try to test out and figure out myself. I don't think I need to bring this third drone with me. Alright, um, because this is super early in the run, hitting this auto trader is not great. Um, these are great once you get a couple modules, some resources, uh, you can pick up all sorts of valuable stuff. But we just need more resources right now, so hitting this trader doesn't make any sense. Uh, hitting this salvage ship, and then this um, government ship, and then... So you can preview how much propulsion it costs by hitting like the X, so it takes two propulsion to go here. And then from here, it'll take two more to go to this government C, and then two more to go to this fuel depot. That seems pretty good. That uses six propulsion, and fuel depots almost always have fuel. So definitely need a lot of fuel right now. So that seems to me to be a good uh, thing to do. Also, the salvage A is only one infestation type. Fuel depot is only one. That's really good. We want easy, easy missions right now that we get some resources. So yeah, that makes sense to me actually the same type of ship so let's take a look no reason to change up uh, our stuff I don't think I need the fourth drone so let's just go ahead and get started dormant drone found in room 2 that is really good alright but we gotta be careful gotta be careful let us see what we find let's Two scrap, that's really good. What else we got in this room? Lots of scrap. Beautiful. Wow. Oh, and another drone? My god, we are blessed. Blessed. This is the run that's blessed. Wow. Ah. 
but we're gonna tow the drone. I don't even care what's in it. Um, it will be a little tricky to scout potentially. You know what? Nav 2 R5 and Dock A7. Um, I'm thinking we want to open this area first. And then we can. Alright, let's see what this looks like. Alright, I got gotcha. you. Uh, I'm also trying to see if there are any interfaces. I don't see anything. What's uh, what's the module here? Speed boost. Eh, that could be good. That could be quite good. Um, do I see any slime? I don't. I can't. I don't hear the buzzing sound, but I can't risk not using the stealth. Like I don't want to. What is that sound? I heard something. I heard something. E10. Okay, D9. What's D9? Okay, the fuel. So let's turn off the stealth and get it. You can do command called close all to close all the doors. Okay, we got ourselves lots of extra fuel. Very good. Well, not lots, but some. All right, what is here? A vent. Okay, but nothing else. Learn our lesson. Hmm. Tricky, tricky. Tricky because I want to make sure you know what? Alright, I got a plan. I got a plan. I want to make sure when I explore the other rooms that I can be safe. But that's that could be difficult to do. So I got a plan. We're gonna do this, and then we're going to move drone. Oh the slime! Okay, okay. That's the enemy I was talking about. The slime. Um the good news is now that I know what the enemy is, I did waste the stealth a little bit, but it's fine. Um, uh, the slime is an enemy that just spreads throughout the map. It just means you have to go super- oh, ah, It's attacking me! I wasn't paying attention! Okay, okay. Toe? Uh, can we get out? Yes! Ah! Okay, it's worth it. It's worth taking that damage. Okay, 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 okay. I should have checked uh, when I was moving drone three. Uh, okay, what else do we do? They can spawn in the uh, generator rooms. Uh, nav two R five. Was there slime in this room? I can't remember. Doc A seven. Go, go go go. Go go go. Oh my gosh, my heart rate is so high. I can open all the doors. Oh! Uh, D14, D20. And then, let's run. That is slime. Nav 1, 2, R3. What's here? Nothing. Uh, A1. Nav 2, R1. What? What's going on? Oh! Okay, Doc! A2. Let us get the hell. Oh, no, 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 no. Doc. Okay, 2 gen. A D10. Doc A4. We're getting the hell out. No no more messing around here. Na Nav 2 R6. And then I'm going to move one manually. The slime is spreading all over the ship. Everything is terrible. We need to get out. I'm not going to explore the rest of the room. It's just not possible. Okay, A4. And. Oh. Uh, A5 is, I can see A5. Okay, I can actually explore that then. Doc A5. I can explore all the ship. Um, five, what do we got? Is there any slime here? Oh, there's a module, but it's permanently installed. Can't get that. Oh, run! Run, little drone! Okay, Doc A2. I don't think we explored that one. Oh my gosh, this mission is so tense. This is what I mean, you gotta move fast because of that slime thing that spreads all over the place. Um, Alright, we're done. We took a little damage on one of our drones, but this was a super profitable mission. We looted two drones. Uh, fuel scrap, like, easily worth it. 
Alright, yeah, we took a little bit of damage. It's it's fine. It's not a big deal. Uh, Alright, let's check out our drones. Ooh, we got drones now. Um, extra modules, which is worth a lot. So, we have another tow in the backup. Um, as you use your modules, um, they will break down. The way it works is if you use it at least once a mission, it counts as like an official use for it. Uh, so you want to try to like not use a module if at all possible. Oh, I could have tested the lure thing. Like just to see how it interacts with the, I completely forgot about that in my like panic. I was just thinking about like the fastest way to get out. Um, let's do this. I'm gonna go to drones. Because you can loot uh, two drones, like tow two drones, a ship, like if you get lucky, like I did in that last ship, um, in drones, um, when you go to M to modify, you can scrap them, like convert them into scrap, so they're money. So I always like to have at most one drone in reserve. Uh, I don't think you should have any more because you're like losing resources. And since you can only field four drones anyway, it's not like, um, it's not really a problem. So one drone in reserve, uh, I think is more than enough. Uh, and why don't we repair uh, Tommy here by one very cheap to do uh, and he'll be useful immediately so let's go to the next ship government C that should be a pretty small ship unknown number of infestation type I'm not gonna need the speed boost because it's kind of a small ship Let's um, put the lure here in a stun because we have all these extra stuns on Tommy. And how much uh, scrap do I have? 13. So I can um, upgrade one of my drones if necessary, repair some of them. Don't really see the need. Uh, let's Swap it like this. Make sure my drone that has hit points is going to go around towing stuff. Uh, and then PD. Um, I'm thinking about giving a native speed upgrade to Orson here. It's only five. And it could really help. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay, we have plenty of modules. I could uh, scrap the stuff like the stuns to uh, like convert it into scrap or even convert Jeremy here. So we got money in the bank, basically. That's um, unknown number of infestation types. That's pretty scary, but we have the stealth module. Not that scared. Let's, let's see what's going on here. Okay, a new file. Adrift. This is an emergency communication to any ship that may be receiving. We have been set adrift. All crew members are now dead. Those survivors, including myself, or all something crew members, obviously not all crew members, uh, maybe like sleeping crew members, something like that, are dead, including myself. And those survivors, including myself, are now isolated in the main cabin. Maybe they're like infected. Ship temperature regulation have been compromised and is dropping quickly. Estimated time tail expiration is less than 48 hours. Uh, something are offline, although transmitters and receivers are still functioning for communication. Tracking something. I will keep this communication channel open for any correspondent. Please send help, I would assume. Captain Simon Hanley. Well, this guy did not survive. Uh, espionage. I saw the ship is has a purpose of espionage. Look at how much faster your drone is once you've upgraded. Very big upgrade. All right. Whoa. Uh, okay, I thought two of the doors were open. I'm missing that. I've only ever seen one of the doors be open. All right, all right. There's some resources. There's also an interface. Um... You know what? Let's uh, let's check out the interface. There could be like a turret or something. You never know. Uh, interface. Okay, survey. We can check out the rest of the ship. Let's turn on the defenses. I have no idea whether there are defenses in any of those rooms. All right. So because of that, we're gonna use our stealth module. Take a look. There's a vent, there's a defense here, that's good. Then we're gonna do D10. 
Ooh, okay, there's a robot. Now this is fascinating. Uh, all right, let's get the robot into this room. Watch out for the stealth. Almost out of stealth, but it's okay. D11. Uh, D10. Uh, interface. Uh, D12. Because I can kill that robot for extra scrap. Easily worth it. Good job. Make sure the turret is turned off. Because the turrets will attack your own drone. Look at that. Thank you, little robot. Um, D11. Nav 3 R2. I've never seen more than one enemy in a room unless there's a swarm that spawns enemies. Ooh, there's something I can tow, maybe? Firmly install. Okay, that means I can't tow it. Unfortunate. Okay, um... I know where the next power uh, cell is. It's in room 5, but I do not want to open room 5 because, like, if there's a robot there or some other enemy, you don't know what there is. It could be very bad, so I'm gonna dock one at A2. Then I am going to stealth. We'll take a look. Seems safe. And we're going to do the same trick on R6. Pretty small ship. Nothing. All right. It was just a robot that we killed. All right. Well. Get out of here. Too bad I can't tow down module. That would have been a nice collection of scrap. All right, so the stealth is deteriorating, which is very bad. Um, the If modules deteriorate into yellow, uh, that means they have a chance to break, and they can deteriorate even further. If they break, there's no way to fix it. Like, it's just dead. You can convert it into one scrap at that point. But considering stealth is pretty much the only way I have to explore, I don't have any other options, I have no choice. Uh, I have to repair it. And it's expensive. 11 scrap, man. That's all our scrap in the bank. Uh, I do have like a second drone and all sorts of things I can convert into scrap. So it's not like that bad, but, um, uh, but we only really have one more repair maybe two if we push it in us and that's a little dangerous uh this fuel depot though um I, this will probably be the last mission of this uh episode i'm just trying to think what else i think this is good there's only one enemy could be that slime again you never know let's just go 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 What do we got? Mm, on the fuel. Oh, okay. Um, I heard something. I think that's a generator. The thing is, I already hit the most valuable thing in this fuel depot, which is the fuel. What other... I'm trying to think, is there any other options? What's the stun do? Drops a proximity mine? I don't hear the buzzing of the swarm. And I've never used the stun thing. So I'm going to try something a little different. Actually, you know what? I'm done. And the reason is, I don't think there's a generator in room four. What I would really like to do is open like D7 to get into that room. But the only way, like there's no way for me to do it safely. Like there's literally no way for me to do it safely. Uh, so...
since I can't open D7 safely, what's the point of going to R4? Like, I don't need to use my stun uh, module. Like, that room is so small, there's not likely to be much in there anyway. I don't actually know if room size has anything to do with loot, but I feel like the answer is yes. Like, bigger rooms tend to have more loot. Although I have seen, like, valuable stuff in the small rooms as well. I just feel like bigger rooms tend to have more loot. And we got really what we came for, which is the fuel. Fuel is life. You need fuel to keep going. Uh, so you know what? You don't have to explore everything on every ship. Like, it's not worth it. Um, and we didn't use our stealth module. That's what's important. We saved the uh, resources for that. All right. I guess we're not quite going to end the episode. Um, this is a system, but we're in this galaxy here. We can go check out other, um, other systems in the galaxy. This system, Fumato, I don't know about that. It's hard to know how many uh, infestation types are here. It's not really, it's not super valuable. This uh, system has all these space stations, which can be very valuable. Fuel depots, which are great. Oh, there are some space stations with like three infestation types. I don't like that. What about E? Trading posts, I like. Fuel depot, one infestation type, two. This seems like a really good uh, zone to go to. Flute. You could go there. Uh, it does also have something called a stargate, meaning you can jump to other galaxies. I'm thinking... Uh, I'm not super keen on hitting up all these ships with like a questionable number of infestation types. Uh, I want like easy missions early, you know, or three infestation types. This system seems to have the easiest missions. I can always jump back here. And then there's some like easier missions. That seems good. Alright, so I'm gonna make a move to jump to this flute system. And then fuel depot. Fantastic. Well, I'll pick this up in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Until next time.